Hello everyone and welcome for another video of Love and War Games. In this video, quite an exciting release, we are getting to open the Zeppelin Battlefleet set for the Imperium. So this set is something we had already seen in the box the um, Sturginium Skies, where we had a lot of Imperium ship, including this air part that was facing off the crown. But now it is available to buy for people that don't want to buy a large starter set or just want some reinforcements. And we will notice that it's not the entire half of the Imperium for the Sturginium Skies because this is only the air elements. So yeah, no cruisers and destroyers here, but that is already quite a big air force in a box. There is going to be this absolutely massive Zeppelin. We're going to get two smaller airships, which are mass two, both of them very efficient. We're gonna get four of these mass ones that are again, extremely fast and very lethal, like really, really lethal, but quite fragile if they can get focused down. Then we have four of these adorable escorts tokens, which are the, okay, I will not pronounce it, but yeah, you have these escort tokens. And you also have two SRS token because this Zeppelin can be turned into a Zeppelin aircraft carrier, which let's admit it is really cool. The Imperium is not my faction of heart, but I have to admit when I see all of this box and especially the Stark Imperium, I have to say, okay, they have a lot going for them. Okay, so let's open the box and see what is inside. All right. One of the first thing that we'll notice is that it is one of the larger box set that you can have. I think it's like not the, of course, it's not the army box set, but it is uh, the biggest one that we've seen first with the Beyond boxes. And now they did this for the Zeppelin, which makes sense because there is a lot of things inside. Uh, we have some SRS uh, token bases because the Stark Imperiums can send up to eight SRS tokens. So you have all eight here. You have some flight stands, which makes sense. Like you have a lot of flight stands because basically everything in this uh, box is supposed to be on a flight stand. You also have these uh, bases of uh, different sizes. Uh, probably those are going to be the bases for the escorts. The mass ones are going to be probably on the same sizes. Then those two are for the mass two ships that you will have. And this absolute massive base is going to be for the Zeppelin and it's going to take a lot of space on the table. And we start strong the sprues with straight away the Stark Imperium. That, oh my God, there is a little, <laughs> a little uh, flight stand that got lost in there. And uh, yeah, we have actually two of those because, well, you have only one half of the Zeppelin here. Second half is going to be there. And yeah, you do need a lot of plastic. And <laughs> that is indeed a lot of plastic. One little tip that I would give, first of all, um, if you have the chance to already have the Sturginium Skies box, uh, this is your occasion to build the other version uh, if you didn't convert or actually, actually uh, magnetize. But regardless of this, one thing that I would say, except that there is a lot of details in this plastic, especially like all the way here, it's going to be a love to paint this. And look at this citadel here. I don't know if you can see it good, but if I can zoom, like there are a lot of details all around. And uh, yeah, so what I wanted to say about uh, this is that you will have a redundancy between these two boxes. They did need to give you two sprues so you have enough of these plastic like meta structure to build the Zeppelin. But it means that, for example, you're gonna have two of these landing pads and you only need one, even if you build the Stark Imperium. And if you don't build the Stark Imperium, it means you're gonna have two of those. And instead of just wasting those, and you're gonna have, uh, if you don't magnetize, you're gonna have a lot of extra things, extra rockets, etc., etc. Uh, you can use it actually for terrain. And for example, if you make a little airport around this, and you put even a little turrets here, there, etc., it will look great on an island. So yeah, see this as a little converting uh, tip because having nice terrain is very important to having a nice game. And if you buy this box, you will for sure have extra bits that you will have no use for. And it's nice bits, I mean, look at this. Do use this to uh, make your islands even more beautiful. Okay, another sprue. And this one is going to be, well, actually they're going to be the same. And those are the 
Oh no, I think, oh my god, I'm sorry. I panicked, but no, I thought this was broken, but probably it's not because we have both there. Yeah, and we have another part here. Okay, and there, okay, very good. I started to panic like, no, it's broken, but no, it's not at all. It's me panicking for nothing. So you have two of these uh, aerial sprues. My wife is making fun of me that I panic all the time. Yeah, you have two of these aerial sprues. And again, uh, you will have some redundancy here. You have two of these mass ones that you can build. And uh, yeah, they look very cool. Be careful that it's not just the weaponry that change depending on which version you build. It's the whole structure. Like the Citadel is not exactly at the same place. So do read the instructions well before you start building. Uh, then we have those uh, Nuremberg, and I forgot the other name, the Munich. No, the Munich is here. Well, anyway, you have um, these two uh, massive ships. And again, uh, depending on where the Citadel is, it's not going to be the same ship. So you can see that here it's one version with the Citadel a little bit in the front and higher. And here there is the Citadel all the way to the front. So those are not the same ships, and you can actually guess from there. And you have redundancy, so you can only build um, two of those, mass twos, but be careful about which version you want. And again, those can be made as a little uh, terrain base, if you can convert it a little bit to make it like, I don't know, a ground base or something, or turn it into a submarine or something. There is always a lot of things that you can do. A lot of redundancy in this box, and this is why I like it. We already had a look at these sprues uh, through the Strygenium Skies box. But yeah, you have, a lot, <laughs> you have a lot of redundancy, and do make the most of this. And then you have those which are probably the cutest escorts in the entire game. You have this, okay, again, I will not try to um, pronounce the name, but these things, like, just look how cute they are. Yes, you know, so adorable. Uh, they don't do much, but do you build them as well. Don't forget them, because they are actually quite useful if you put them in escort of your stock Imperium. And that is what you're going to get with this box. Um, a lot of good value, I would say. Like, again, I will not repeat what I already said, but you do get a lot of plastic. Like, I will just show you again, like, this absolutely massive uh, Zeppelin that you can build with it. Like, do expect to see it uh, on a battle report. Uh, if I remember the timeline good enough, it should be somewhere around June that we will have the Imperium uh, being recorded for the channel. And, uh, yeah, but you can already see how massive these are and remember that those are flying so they will be closer to you so they will appear uh, larger and they will be just such a gorgeous sight on the table highly recommended this is probably one of the best sprues i have seen so far for dystopian wars in terms of what you get for what you pay and uh, yeah do do get it it's a very very steampunky uh, it really represents well what the dystopian age is all about and yeah, you do get so many of those little bits that you can use later on. So see this as a good investment and yeah, highly recommended this little Zeppelin Battlefleet set. Uh, if you want just a quick tip about what to build and which version, uh, I would say that if you are going to build only one Zeppelin and you don't want to magnetize, which is a shame because yeah, I, it's not that difficult to magnetize, at least the core set, like this artillery that can turn into an aircraft landing pad. But if you don't want to magnetize, I would recommend to build the Stark Imperium. There is a named version that is very efficient and it's just such a, a good and efficient ship. The Zeppelin Aerial Dreadnought is also quite good, but I would recommend the Stark Imperium uh, if you're going to build only one. Then between the two Mass 2 airships, the Nuremberg and the Quickstorm, I forgot the Quickstorm, uh, I would recommend, well, let, let's talk about everything at the same time because I would say uh, between the Nuremberg and the Quickstorm, the Nuremberg comes from the Munich uh, yeah, no, the Bavarian subfaction, and the Quickstorm is from the Prussians. And same for the Aerial Destroyers here. You have the Munich, which is from the Bavarian, and the Jaeger, which is for the Prussian. Uh, what I would recommend is, if you build, for example, the Nuremberg for the Bavarian, also build the Munich for the Bavarians, because they will go good together. They kind of play the same style, like quite fast, they have a lot of firepower, and they want to link it together, etc. Well, have a look at the what to build Zeppelin uh, if you want more information. But yeah, they combo good together. And the Quickstorm go very well with the Jaeger, with a lot of point-blank firepower and one big shot, a shot with a lot of high uh, qualities to it. So this would be my advice on what to build. Again, they are 
all of them quite efficient. There is no trick, there is not one shape that actually doesn't work because the rules are bad or whatever. So if you prefer the appearance or the fluff of one shape or another, feel free to do it. And yeah, that is going to be my tips here for how to build this Zeppelin belt fleet set until the real video comes out. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, remember to give us a thumbs up. It really helps. Tell us in the comments, uh, what do you think? Are you going to get the Zeppelin? Uh, yes or no, and why? Uh, is it because you already had the Strugenium Skies? I'm um, quite curious about like if this box is going to have a success or not, or if everybody that wanted a Zeppelin already bought like two or three of the Strugenium Skies box, which is not impossible, but it's always really good that it is uh, available uh, on its own. So let us know what you think. Plus, when you type a comment, it helps us to get seen by more people and get more people inside the community. And uh, yeah, I uh, hope you liked it. And until the next video, do remember to keep taking care of yourself and all those around you. And especially remember to keep spreading the love all around you. Bye.